When you change your mindset, you change your life. Listen in to this week's episode coming up now. Welcome back to another Win Win Wednesday, episode four. And look, I'm still doing it by myself. Still have had zero time to get somebody set up. And especially, I was going to this week, but something came up yesterday. You know what it was? The whole premises of what I'm talking about. My computers. You guys have watched my scene on Life Weekly. Know I've been having issues. I got some a brand or a refurbished Dell desktop, a refurbished Dell laptop from the Micro Center in Overland Park, and it's been a fiasco. They've the laptop was jacked up the first time, so I went back the second. I went back the second time, and mind you, it's one hour and six minutes away from my house. So, got the stuff. Came home, laptop was messed up. So I ended up having to go right back the same exact day. So that makes for two trips, just that day. Guy gave me another refurbished one. Great, awesome, worked fine, awesome, perfect, great. Well, I checked the desktop out when I, you know, before I left that first time, and it was all good and great. And then, uh, got everything. And you know how long you do shit on computers? You don't realize all the stuff that you have that's all set up and things you've added and modified so getting all that stuff set up and everything and I couldn't do my QuickBooks. The CD uh, drive was messed up on the desktop and they're like, well hey, pop it in over there to uh, let them see what's up, maybe they'll just replace that. Well I go over there and uh, the dude's like, hey, we'll just replace it for you, the whole thing. He's like, we'll just get you in a brand new computer because I was already back once for the laptop and then a desktop, so that would be my third trip in a week, if that, so three trips. That's six hours for me driving total, and gas and tolls and everything else. But they, um, he was like, dude, let's get you out of that Dell refurbished, and they got me in a brand new Optiplex. With my, I paid like four hundred thirty bucks for the laptop. They got me in one of those like seven hundred bucks, was six hundred and sixty nine or seventy nine bucks. So they, he just comped the price for it. And while I was at it, he gave me a extra protection plan on it. For free, great, awesome, they've been phenomenal. That new computer's been kick-ass, awesome, great. The laptop was running great, and then the laptop. I just realized it's been doing a couple little funky things here and there, no big deal, got it tough figured out. And then Microsoft Office, the biggest thing. My laptop is what I use for business and traveling and everything else, so that is the biggest, hardest thing to not have working right, and it started jacking up. So, I ended up going back and seeing, I've seen the same manager and the same kid every single time, so we went back today. And it's snowing out. This will be four times. And what I do when I went in there today, I was kind. I was nice. I was pleasant to work with. Like everybody usually tells me, I am the most pleasant, happiest, unhappy customer. Because I'm there for not a good reason and everything. But dude, I'm so pleasant to work with because I understand. That's what my mom has always told me. Why is it when you have a problem and you're calling a place like, you know, your phone bill or your phone you know, service or something or like a computer on that. You're actually, you want help to solve the problem you're having and you go there and you're an asshole. And you're trying to just be rude to them and just hound them and everything else. Like, people aren't going to want to do shit for you. They're going to literally find that fine line of what the company requires me to do and they're not going to do anything above and beyond. What I've done, oh, mind you, the laptop when I took it in there, they gave me a brand new one. I had $530 in it, they gave me almost $800. It's the newest of the new. It was a 2019, was a minute made. There's nothing nicer or newer out right now. I've got over $2,000 worth of computers and uh, plans and everything, and I've spent $1,300, got like $700, $800 worth free. So, what I've been, I've been so nice and so kind and understanding, and what they've done is the dude done the bare minimum he's supposed to do and he goes beyond and he goes beyond because when you're nice and you're kind to people and you're understanding you know it's not their fault it's their product you know that they're selling like shit happens just understand that and be a good person you want shit to happen to you you want good karma points it's not hard be a good damn person it's that easy and every customer service person I've talked to and everything I had AT&T out Four different technicians over like two weeks to get my internet fixed because I was an issue and everything. Called the lady after four times. She was like, I want to stay on with you all day. Like, you are the most pleasant, unhappy customer ever. She's like, I don't want to get off the phone with you because 
I'm going to be dealing with some rude customer that is pissed off and just going to be grumpy with me next. So take this as a heat of warning and if you want good things to happen in your life, be a good person. If you're not happy about things, understand shit happens. Things could always be a hell of a lot worse in your life. So be grateful and understand that that is a person just doing a job and the problem or the issue that happens is probably something above them or beyond them or from a supplier. Let them do what they need to do just to make things right and you'll find they'll probably do something above and beyond what they're just required to do by their company. Being a good person will always pay off. That's all I got for you today. TBS, think be stay positive every single day in every way. I love you guys. Until next week, stay humble, stay blessed.